Good morning! <laughs> Home fries, bacon, and fresh. The pièce de résistance. Bloody Mary. You could show the teensiest bit of excitement. We're not really smoothie people. Success! <laughs> Beautiful. Garnish. Oh, you're not vegan, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Spoons, uh, shiny things, metal. I, I was collecting them for you. Mm. Checked the barn. Twelve hours to go, and still some work to be done. Way to go, slacker. <laughs> hey, I salted the rim. I'm not a savage. Why, well, Nona? I know you're in there. Come on, you can fight this thing. Ah, uh, no. You could fight me. It was exhausting being inside of you. Oh, that goodness. You were in my brain. I'll remember a weakness. Fighting demons is what we do! What do you think we'll do? Any idea how many of your friends will survive the day? In fact... <laughs> you're annoying. I think... You'll go first. No, 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 no. the truth, Wynonna. Is she red enough? <laughs> Let's get going. What about your fair half? Uh, she's sick. She's got a bout of influenza. <laughs> Any word on Lily Livered Lucata? I was gonna ask you the same thing. You sure Waverly is... Whoa, are those pants? I sure hope so. You have the new pants. <laughs> Not that I don't always notice your tight little rump, but... Today's junk in the trunk is especially delightful. <laughs> Are you feeling all right? It was a Bloody Mary morning. <laughs> and a tequila sunrise sunset. So Waverly is... A little tied up. A lot hungover. <laughs> you don't want to go in there, trust me. I always do. That makes one of us. Where's your weapon? Nothing, silly. Oh, thank you. We need to find Winona. Tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here, right now. For starters, I'm tied to a chair. Again? I know what you are. Demon. Oh, you're an hour late in a nerve short. He jumped into Winona last night. It's gonna hurt her and everyone else. Where was the first place we met? Outside Shorty's, Winona put a knife to your throat. Favorite food. Lasagna. Real favorite food. Uh sweet and sour soup with a dollop of peanut butter. So you could just be reading Waverly's thoughts right now, right? Because I know what I saw in the barn. Oh, my God. I was there, wasn't I? And you were bleeding and wounded and in pain. I couldn't see you. 
I couldn't help you with that thing inside me. Oh, my God. You know, I've seen a lot of possessions in my life. And never one that incited so many apologies. I mean... Yeah. I know. I know. Which means Winona is not. What's it gonna do? Winona? Whatever it wants. I could always feel it inside me. Like jockeying for position. Yeah, like working at me. You know, gnawing at me. Like, like a thousand tiny fingers prying. In Black Badge, we call them passengers. When it took over, I, I remembered nothing. Except that suddenly one felt like many. It's fractured. Yeah. Or multiplied. Becoming. Legion. Asian. Though it never did anything as cool as breathe fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the thing in me is not a passenger. It's just me. It jumped into Winona because I wouldn't do what it wanted. Which is what? I don't know. I was fighting too hard to ask. For seven weeks. We can't let it take Winona. Nothing will stop us from trying. Okay? Not even. You. Before I kill you, I'm gonna need my briefcase. You abandoned two black badge agents during a sting up. I'm pretty sure you're fired. I'm pretty sure you're dead. Guys! You sent mercenaries to kill me. You were wanted fugitive. for you two to go all UFC on each other. What's the situation? Huh. Well, frankly, Lucado, the situation is balls. Couldn't the call the head? I thought you were bad. Besides, I love surprises. Oh, I never should have touched that you. I'm so sorry, Winona. Hellfire is so clicking against your flesh and devouring your soul, dragging you to its everlasting death! <laughs> Come on. I said I was sorry. So your hand was severed. Yeah, but it grew back. It grew it back like an evil starfish. And now it's in Winona and controls everything that she is. With killer instincts and a magical gun. A gun she cannot touch. Not while the demon abides. <laughs> Well, Black Badge must be able to do something, right? We could call HQ, Moody? I'm still on their do-not-resuscitate list. Okay. BBD is not returning my calls. They never received the briefcase, so since then it's been radio silence. Thanks for that. Well, we need to do something. It would be helpful if we could get a sample of the substance that Waverly originally touched. The tentacle goo? Mm -hmm. It was at the arch. Or will it die? Well, we could take my new car. It's got a cassette player. Hey, and I hope I don't need to stress this, but don't touch the goo. Oh, 
I don't even take free samples at the grocery store anymore. Do you think demon goo leaches into soil or evaporates? Oh, chemistry is not my department. Is that why you hired a honey mixologist? Oh, you think she's hot? Are you expecting a friend? Oh, for the love of Pete. This is the gentleman who gave Dolls a lift back to town. Probably saved his life. I did nothing so heroic. I'm quite unable. Seems a waste of precious time, the two of you out here. And how we spend our time matters to you because... No demon residue left here to find. The Order took care of that. Sorry, who are they? And do you think they might share? Holiday met them this morning. Muscled up firefighters. What do they want with demon goo? They're a danger to one of yours. Winona. Mortal danger. Wait, so what do we do? Give them something they want more. He disappeared. Yeah, does that. It's a fury. Now what do we have that the order might want? <gasps> oh, dolls, you did it. Of course not. Oh, no, no, of course not. She touched the goo, and turns out she wasn't as resilient as you. Or it's getting stronger. Mixion. Its name is Mixion. Like that time I put a can of pasta in the microwave. Doc, she was a human being. Wait, where did she get some goo? Okay, so I found this compound that uh, shocks the nervous system, right? It makes a demon think that it's in a dying body and then it abandons it. But then what? I mean, Winona won't be able to fire Peacemaker to kill it. Well, between my revolvers and his pistol, we can slow it down. No. Did you see the tentacle last time? I mean, no offense to your pistol, but it won't leave a scratch. Waverly, just look around you, okay? We gotta get this thing out of Winona fast. How are we doing on ingredients? Well, um, we got sagebrush, sandalwood, and tamarisk. We got all the stuff, just need a container. Say no more. <sighs> My new rinse. chance to regroup with your ginger pop tart. <laughs> I might have caused some trouble. <laughs> We're running out of time. She's a boring cop. You are not boring. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but you've got dark corners that you haven't explored yet. Not enough to save you, why not? Okay, are we having a moment? Hey. But you're enough to save me. Hmm? No, if you're gonna stop, you have to stop louder. I trust you. What? <laughs> There's only one way to make it stop, and you know what it is, Miksha. <laughs> Starting with Waverly. She took his bag on purpose. Why would Waverly do that? Because I have Peacemaker. And I'm gonna save her.
But you're staying at Nicole's. Yeah, no, I, I needed to pick something up in town. Why, Nona? Um, when the demon jumped back into me, it was different. It told me things about you. So what, now you know all my secrets? Not sure even you know this one yet. <laughs> you okay in there? No, I'm here for you. Now and forever. exactly did Mixion tell you? Um, it said your body wasn't an ideal fit. It was too crowded. Winona, you're not alone. Say that again. 